OK, so we want to find the x values where f of x has a local min. Now again, guys, we don't know what these values are. The only thing we know is this is the graph of f prime of x, and we have some slopes that are changing. And we know that a, a minimum is going to occur. Let's just pretend we're dealing with f of x here. If we're looking at some function f of x, we know that we're going to have a minimum value when we change from a negative slope to a positive slope. Correct? Yeah? Now, we look at this and we say, all right, well, the values when we change from positive to negative or negative to positive are our critical values, right? So if we, were, you know, if we had some function, we would find the first derivative, set equal to 0, and find those critical values. Well, we can determine those critical values are at x equals negative 5, negative 1, and at positive 5. Those are the x-intercepts of the derivative graph. Those are your possible critical values. But we're only looking for the critical value when we're going to change from a negative slope to a positive slope. So let's look at the first critical value, negative 5. We're changing from a positive to a negative. So is that a minimum value? No, that'd be a relative, that'd be a relative max. But at negative 1, we're changing our slope as negative to the left of negative 1, right? All these values are negative. And then here, all the slopes are now positive. So the only value, the x value where fx has a local minimum is going to be x equals negative 1. And you could say, you know, since f prime of, um, since f prime of x changes, if you had to justify, from uh, negative to positive, right, at that value. At negative 5? No, it changes from positive to negative. Right, because it's a minimum. If we were asking for maximum, then that'd be the same. And the same thing, what about at 5? Is that a relative extreme at all? What's the, what's, the, what's the value of the derivative to the left of 5? Positive or negative? It's positive. It's above the, it's above the x-axis, right? It's positive. What about to the right? Positive. We just did an example like that, right? Remember like the first example we did? Oh, it's not a relative extrema. 